On this day in 1975, a priest named Jose Maria Escriba died. Pope John Paul II canonized him in 2002. But who is he? Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and the saint whom the church honors today founded a group called Opus Dei, or the work of God, in 1928. His goal was to help lay people find holiness in the midst of the world. And when he died, Opus Dei had 60,000 members of 80 different nationalities. Obviously, we all have the goal of holiness, and the different vocations are all paths to holiness. But a lot of times, people think you can't really be holy in the world. St. Jose Maria Escriba not only set out to prove them wrong, but proposed an organized method for becoming holy in the world. Here's something Bishop Joseph Finn of Kansas City St. Joseph said last year. I would like to reflect a bit on the special insight that St. Jose Maria had that all the faithful have priestly souls. One does not have to be ordained or consecrated to have a priestly soul. This priestly soul is given in the sacrament of baptism, which configures the new Christian to Christ, the king, prophet, and priest. It is animated by supernatural grace in such a way that the lay faithful have the capacity, when they are in the state of sanctifying grace, to connect the free offering of their lives with that of Christ, the high priest, and to offer to God the pleasing sacrifice of their prayer, their work, and their sufferings in union with Jesus on the altar and on Calvary. When the baptized live with Christ's life and act out of a motive of love for Christ, their actions are meritorious, helpful to their salvation and that of others. They are true participants in the very work of redemption.